In the phosphate test, we want to do a couple steps. So the first one is we're going to check to see if there's a phosphate. And to do that, you have two options. You can either try silver nitrate, or you can try adding any cobalt compound. And if we compare that to an unknown, we should get different results even if they're the same precipitate. However, if we do phosphoric acid, it won't work. So what we see here is we see that the precipitate here is different than the unknown, but the phosphoric acid didn't even form a precipitate for the silver nitrate, nor for the cobalt compound. So what happens is you can use these first two tests to distinguish whether or not you have a phosphate or something else. But if you think you might have phosphoric acid, you have to do all of the other tests first and then come back at the very end and then check it by adding copper to acetate. Now at this point, you should only be checking between phosphoric acid and water because it's going to give you the same result whether you do a phosphate, an unknown, or phosphoric acid. But phosphoric acid will form a precipitate while water won't. So in the final check of like whether you have this or something else, that's when you can come back and do the whole procedure. So let's zoom in here and see our precipitates. So if we had done water or phosphoric acid, the water would have just mixed with the copper 2 acetate solution and no precipitate would have formed. However, you can see here clearly there's a difference between these two and these two. This one has kind of a pinkish precipitate, this one is purple. Okay. But phosphoric acid didn't work for either one of those, so if that's what you're checking for, then you have to eliminate everything else except for water and then check it to see if it precipitates with the copper too.